Yeah, so still there in this traffic. So next rant, you can hear the ambient noise of the traffic outside. So this will be a quick one. A couple man, and if the cat fits, wear it. But I'm getting fed up of musicians doing this thing where they're sending me their tunes and then they're telling me I've got to reshare it. Talking about support and blah, blah, blah. Let me explain something to all of you, whether you're a rapper, singer, got an event, got a, a book out, whatever, yeah? Don't come to me with this thing about I've got to share it because of support and X, Y, Z. So I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Because guess what? If you're going to make it sound like I'm such a bad person because I haven't shared your thing, I could throw that right back at you. Because guess what? Have you shared my stuff? And the thing is, I'm not asking you to share my stuff. You don't have to. Maybe what I do doesn't align with what you're promoting at the time, so you're not really on that. Furthermore, do you even like my stuff? Like, give me a like or whatever. I'm not really that bothered by it. Just because someone doesn't share my stuff or post it or click like or comment or, or engage... I don't, I don't take that as an insult or a diss. Maybe you're just not interested. It's cool. Like, it's, it's not a thing. Like, you, you're not obligated to do that for me. And I feel like I've kind of said this in videos before, but I'm saying it again. Because like I said, I might not share your mixtape or your tune or your performance. But guess what? If you're my brethren, the chances are if a madness pops off, I'll lick a man down for you. You know them one day, like... So don't, don't go on, like, say people ain't supporting you just because they're not sharing or liking or what. Grow up. Like, some of you on social media, you become so sensitive to this algorithm and all this stuff here that you start overthinking how life really works. Some of you need to go outside, like outside where there's trees and squirrels and rabbits and just experience the real world. Because what you're experiencing on this app here, in this device, it's not real. Just because someone don't share it, it, don't, it doesn't show any lack of whatever. It don't, it don't mean that. And again, if that is true, I, I challenge you. When have you shared my stuff? When have you shared any of my projects? Whether it's my, my animated comedy series, whether it's my comic book work, whether it's my illustrations. Shit, some of you rappers, you'll get me to do artwork for you. And some of you won't even tag me in the artwork when you post it on the gram to let people know that I done it. But I'm not crying about it. It is what it is, isn't it? Like, don't really mean much to me. Like, because, yeah, whatever, innit? I'm grown, innit? So yeah, man, like some of you, you kind of need to come off of that, like grow up, behave yourself and just stop this nonsense in it. Because again, you haven't shared my shit, but I'm not complaining. I'm not even asking you to do it. I, this is one thing about me yeah, when it comes to this creative world thing or business. I don't want your support. I want demand. So if people like my stuff, they'll get it, they'll support it, they'll do whatever. But... I don't want you to support me just because you like me or whatever else. And then one day I might say something about a political issue and all of a sudden you don't want to rate my thing no more. Like, you know, I might decide to say something like Black Lives Matter or I don't agree with Black Lives Matter or Free Palestine or whatever. And then all of a sudden, because of what side of the fence you're on, on any one of those given subjects, you decide, yeah, I'm not supporting Wayne no more. Let me ask you something. For those of you that smoke weed, when you buy your whatever you buy, yeah, to smoke, do you buy it because you're supporting your local weed man? Or do you buy it because you want the weed? When you go Sainsbury's or Tesco's or Aldi, Lidl or whatever supermarket is to buy your food, do you buy it because you want to support the supermarket? Or do you buy it because you need the food? When you, got, when you buy your ticket to go and see Vibes Cartel this, you know, this, um, this December, are you doing it because you want to support the airline company? Or are you doing it because you want to see Vibes Cartel? I mean, I suppose you could call that supporting a vibes cartel, but, you know, but even though some of you have got problem with drill music and all the murdering and killing, but that's another story. We won't go there. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, you're doing it because you want it, innit? And that's what I'm about. I'd rather make something and people want it and they get it naturally and organically rather than they support it just because support and because it's way... I don't want that. Because what that basically means is, let me say one thing that you don't agree with, you're going to take that support away. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to rely on that, so... But that's my rant on that. Just getting fed up of these people on social media on this thing about share their thing and like almost trying to make you feel guilty for not doing it. Maybe I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? If I do it, I do it because I naturally want to. 
Maybe I'd like if every rapper asks me or every artist or whatever asks me to share their thing. Like my whole timeline would be would be like a walking advertisement. I'm not I'm not doing that. My timeline's for me, isn't it? Like what I share. I'm promoting my work, what I do. Occasionally I might share something just because I like it or whatever. I might share a funny meme, but that's about it. But no one owes you nothing, man. Anyway, that's my rant or my second rant. I'm done. Catch you on the next one, innit?